Well, developing here at home, it's a controversial statue. It's been in downtown Orlando for decades. Well, now it is going to be moved to a local cemetery. Yesterday, we told you that Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer issued an executive order for that statue to be moved to Greenwood Cemetery. This morning, we are speaking with Don Price. He is the sexton from Greenwood Cemetery, talking about the big move. Good to see you. Nice Thanks for coming uh -huh. in to visit us. Uh, if, it, if you have uh, had a chance to go down to Greenwood Cemetery, then you know what an amazing place it is. So we so appreciate you being here. Thank you. So tell me when you found out it was going to get moved to your cemetery did you immediately know I know exactly where it's going to go exactly we have uh, you know four veteran sections in the cemetery and one is a confederate section so we thought it would be an ideal place to honor the dead there uh, we have a confederate section and a union section that are right across from each other so it makes a good fit and all of our veterans that are buried in the confederate section are veterans we have no casualties from the war oh wow okay so it, so this statue it was interesting you and i spoke on the phone yesterday and you said you know what's interesting amy is that we're going to actually have to x-ray it to figure out sort of how it's all put together correct. right correct it was originally put together in 1911 when it was donated to the city when it was moved in 1917 to the current location I mean we just don't have the plans and those people aren't around anymore so yeah there will be an x-ray done to see kind of what it is we believe it's in seven pieces that are stacked but we really need to know how they're put together what they're done before we can even attempt to move it well, we've been watching over the last couple of weeks the video from New Orleans of them putting the you know moving the statues and it looks like quite a process mm -hmm. yeah and, and it will be uh, and every the city is in the process right now of of doing its due diligence and doing everything to try to figure out how it's going to move. I mean, cranes, we got to deal with right, cranes. We got to deal with trees downtown. So there's other things that we're dealing with right now that you know, we're kind of in that hold pattern. You mentioned to me that you also have a cannon that was donated that's that's now in the, the, the Confederate section. Correct. Uh, about a couple months ago, we got the uh, cannon from Robert E. Lee Middle School, and that's now College Park Middle School. Right. So uh, this section is growing as, as I say is, you know, little by little as we do. You keep getting gifts, as you gifts. call them, yeah, right? They gifts. Get gifts. Gifts from the, for the Confederate section. Mm -hmm. Okay, I want people at home, if they've, if they've never been out to Greenwood, to know how they can come out and get a tour by you, because it's truly amazing. Well, we do uh, our Moonlight History Tours. Friday closes to the full moons. They are free to the public. They last about two hours. And, and in the cemetery, we have T.G. Lee. We have Theodore Mead from Mead Gardens, the Bumbies, the Robinsons, the Gores. We have families that are streets and names and buildings are, are done after. So a lot of folks that are especially new to Orlando being transient, it gives them a way to learn their city and learn the streets that they drive and the buildings that they go to. The tours are completely free, but at the end of the tour, I pass a bucket for a local charity. I love it. And they usually book up pretty fast, yeah? Uh, yeah, they book up pretty fast. And I like to say it's because it's a good tour, <laughs> but what it is is they book up online so everybody can grab a few tickets quickly. <laughs> well, listen, uh, Don Price, you are uh, such an amazing well, Orlando you. historian, and we appreciate you being with us this morning. So thank you so Thanks much. Thanks for having All me. All right, good to see you.